Welcome back to the channel. This video is on glacial ice and how the actual ice forms to become this really compact and beautiful blue and greenish color that you see in these massive glaciers in Alaska and Greenland, Antarctica, and these massive ice sheets. And we're going to look at the stages that snow goes through once it's deposited on the glacier to when it becomes glacial ice. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So a glacier is an accumulation of ice and sediment over a long period of time that is going to flow through gravity or from gravity or by gravity downhill. Now, the important part is the formation towards the head or the beginning, the accumulation stage of this glacier. And it all starts with the precip of snow. Now, obviously, you need a consistent climate that's going to create snow with low temperatures, usually sub-zero, that's going to maintain the snow in the current form, not allow melting too much, and accumulate the snow over season and season. So year after year, that snow is going to fall, and it's going to accumulate in that location, either on an ice cap or large continental glacier, or in a alpine glacier or, al or a valley situation. Now, many of these glaciers are absolutely spectacular to look at, and the ice looks very surreal. It's so thick and dense and has that bluish and greenish kind of opaque kind of coloration to it as the light kind of is, is reflected off it and through it. And the ice is formed through a certain process that we go through right now, step by step. So as the snow falls and is deposited on the glacier towards the head or the higher elevations, the snow is settled over the course of one year. Now, if it stays for one year and doesn't melt away, then it can accumulate and a new layer of snow is going to bury the existing snow layer deeper down and you'll start to get this compaction and this burial type sequence happening in the glacier to grow the, the glacier and make it deeper and obviously change that snow eventually into glacial ice. But first, the snow is about 90% air, so it's very fluffy, uh, mostly air, and the snow stroke ice crystals are large and beautiful patterns and they are very spread out. Now, what happens when, when it gets buried is it increases its compaction and the density increases and the weight of the overlying snow is going to create that compaction and the change in density. What happens is the snow crystal, ice crystal, will break down and become smaller. So increase in density in a smaller volume and it will turn into granular snow. So it's smaller and less crystalline shape. It will recrystallize. Then it will turn into, from being about half air, half snow, it will turn into a process or a snow term called fern, F-I-R-N, fern, which is snow that's been around for about a year to two years in time, right? And this fern is, again, smaller, more compact, denser piece of snow that's deeper down in the in the glacier and it's between 20 to 30 percent air so we're just kind of pushing the air out of this snow and really pushing together and increasing the density of the snow pack and then finally to make glacial ice which takes between five to ten years again so more recrystallization uh, increasing density and this is found basically towards the head of the glacier still before it starts to flow downhill and past the equilibrium line into the ablation zone. The glacial ice is extremely compact and dense and small and contains about 20% of air, which is mostly bubbles. And then because it's so compact and dense, it's starting to reflect the light and use the light different ways, which gives it its different coloration compared to fern or just the white powdery snow. So this glacial ice has been in constant transformation since the snow fell on the glacier and over the course of 5, 10, 15 years or even longer based on the climate, it will turn into glacial ice, this thick, dense, compacted ice granules basically that have been stuck together and it looks like very glassy appearance with the luster, very glassy appearance. And obviously it's changed its shape and changed its density and its volume to become glacial ice. 
So what you create is this beautiful, immense, very awe-inspiring frozen river, this glacier or glacier that's going to flow downhill from the mountain high elevations down to the lower elevations, perhaps in the Piedmont glacier. And you get this huge amount of glacial ice that's compacted and thick flowing downhill and breaking off and creating uh, crevasses and the de deformation with basal sliding and the friction and the meltwater. And you get this beautiful, very picturesque, but also shows the, the intense power of this natural process of this ice unit flowing down, down the gradient, slowly but surely breaking down, but also, again, at the same time, creating more glacial ice at the head or the high elevations at the beginning of where the glacier actually starts. So there's a nice, beautiful life cycle of this glacial ice from beginning to the melting at the very end, the terminus of the glacier. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you'd like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.